checked. And right now there are 496 people currently hospitalized in Oregon with COVID-19, 62 in Clark County. Our Liz Burt spoke to the Oregon Association of Hospitals and Health Systems about the capacity concerns and strain on health care workers and how that could impact you even if you don't get the coronavirus. There's a lot of concerns about capacity right now. Um, the Delta variant is raging in Oregon right now, and it's especially concerning in parts of the state that have low vaccination rates. Dave Northfield with the Oregon Association of Hospitals and Health Systems says hospital beds across the state are filling up quickly once again. So if you look back to the end of April, when the governor instituted restrictions in most counties, the trigger for that was rising hospitalizations. So her pressure point at that point was 300. That means a strain on hospital staff too. You know, what is it like to be a healthcare worker right now, kind of facing this new surge? I think you've seen healthcare workers, frontline healthcare workers speaking out about how difficult it is right now. I mean, it's really, it's really, really difficult to be on the front lines and, and it's just heartbreaking for them to see what they're seeing. Um, we have people in the hospital who are younger. We have people in the hospital who are sicker and it's just really heartbreaking, especially when the frontline workers see these hospitalizations and deaths as preventable. And just like with previous COVID surges, this could impact you even if you go to the hospital for something other than coronavirus. When we have a capacity crunch, the, one of the biggest concerns is if you're in a hospital that's in a rural area, especially that's smaller, that may be full and critical care may not be available if the hospital is full of COVID patients. In Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.